For whatever reason, you know, America has, look, it's very difficult to speak really generally, but I'll just say some things that it's a, there, there's, there is to be found great dynamism here. But somehow, and I don't know if that's connected to uh, a sort of inability to, to, um, to engage with other histories. Maybe it's your youth, or maybe it's your scale. Maybe the both. Um, I don't know. Um, and I say you, I should also say we, because I was born here, I'm an American citizen as well, you know. Um, um, but it's, it's, um, but I remember, for example, growing up in Cairo and I went to an American school. At the age of 12 my, or 11, my education shift, switched from Arabic to English. And I went to this American school and I was taken aback by certain things I didn't know about. Certain ways of of identifying the world. And these boys and girls were living in Egypt. But even they, living in Egypt, weren't engaged with it. They had mm. come with such a complete architecture of abstracting the country. It was amazing. you know. So there's an impediment, it mm. seems to me. They have come with their impediments. Mm. Why those impediments exist, their, the complexity of, of their structures is very rich, you know. But one of them, just to give you an example, for example, they would say, war in the Middle East. Now, I'd never heard that before. <laughs> I'd never heard that before. And you've been saying war in the Middle East here in America for I don't know how long. And just imagine. Imagine two countries in Europe, or a country, or a people go to a country in Europe and make a state in it, and occupy parts of it, and there are friction, and there's occasional wars or, 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 or problems between them, and we say war in Europe. Imagine that. So even the description is abstracting. The Middle East is such a complex place, filled of diversity and richness, and it's not. And the the attempt to collapse it, whether I give the example of the Middle East because that's from where I'm from. I'm sure there are other examples of Asia and of Af Africa is another one because I'm also I'm, I'm from Africa. I'm Arab, African, American, Brit, you know, <laughs> cocktail. But but you know, Africa is another one. People say Africa. What, what, where in Africa? What do you mean, Africa, where? You know, poverty in Africa, where in Africa? <laughs> some Africa, some of Africa is very rich. Some of Africa. So these um, gestures of abstraction seem to denote a, a, um, a, a lack of appetite to engage robustly and authentically with, with other realities.